This summer heat and humidity we are facing across the South Plains can really be dangerous, especially for first responders and workers who spend all day in this brutal heat. KCBD News Channel 11's Dylan Villa shows us how they stay safe in these conditions and how you can apply these tips if you plan to spend a lot of time outdoors. Brick by brick, these construction workers are looking to get the job done. But one thing that's impeding their progress is the heat. Superintendent for Lee Lewis Construction, Jimmy Thompson, says a way his crews push through that is to take breaks in order to alleviate any heat fatigue they may have. It, well, for one thing, it wears you out and it makes you, it gets you tired very easily. So you just have to be kind of mindful of that. You know, if, if you need to rest and we, we'll let them stop and take a break and whatever, you know, we take breaks throughout the day, lunch breaks also. So uh, that helps a bunch. Thompson also says many workers simply get used to the heat over time, but it's a process and you need to be weather aware. You get used to it after a while. Um, you, you had to climatize yourself for sure. And, you know, with the humidity, that, that makes it even worse. But uh, you just got to kind of grow into it, so to speak. Adding summer heat to an already hot job like firefighting doesn't help either. That's why Derek Delgado with Lubbock Fire Rescue says hydration is key for fire crews. That way, they can focus on the important task at hand. We really urge all of our personnel to stay hydrated, uh, not only on shift, but while they're off shift. So that way, whenever, you know, that one call does come in where it's an extended period of time, they're hydrated, they're able to last long inside of the fires. That way, we're not having to continually rotate them out. Another tool LFR uses is a rehab unit. It has two of them dedicated to giving firefighters an opportunity to get away from the sun or in winter months, the frigid cold. It's completely climate controlled. So not only can we use it during the summer, during the hot heat, but we can use it during the cold winters when it's extremely cold outside. We can change the climate to then be a warmer uh, climate for those uh, firefighters to work in. Lastly, be prepared. Give yourself plenty of time to acclimate to your surroundings. You can't just go out there on a 100 degree day and it's your first day on the job. You have to have to kind of ease into it. If you know you're going to be out, make sure you're staying hydrated, getting hydrated days in advance. That way when it does come, you're well hydrated for the event, especially as we get here to 4th of July. People are going to be at the lake, you know, making sure everyone's hydrated uh, for the hot temperatures. With more 100 degree days on the horizon, staying hydrated, taking breaks, and being prepared will not only help you, but these workers who deal with the weather every day. Dylan Villa, KCBD News Channel 11.